This is a video on how to replace a broken or cracked LED screen on the Toshiba Portage Z835 model, which comes with a glossy screen. Toshiba Portage also comes in a Z830 model, which has a matte screen. All that you will need is a flathead screwdriver, a small one. So here we go. First, uh, the bezel is easily popped off all the way around the side and uh, at the top of the bezel there's actually a little hook that it grabs onto and so we'll do this part last. So I've shut my computer down and we'll just continue pulling off the bezel carefully. It is made only of plastic, so you want to try and make sure that it does not break. Okay, and that is the bezel removed. Now, there are no screws to remove in this procedure. Um, there are two located right here. You aren't going to have to do anything with them. There's actually two strips of adhesive located in this area and this area behind the screen. So using the screwdriver, you get behind here and pop it off. Being very careful of wires And there the screen is detached. There's one small connector assembly here and so you just simply lift up the tape and very carefully disconnect the connector. There's the broken screen. I ordered my replacement screen from laptopscreen.com and they shipped it to me faster than I expected and they informed me that if I made a video on how to replace a laptop screen that they would give me $20 off the cost of my purchase. So that's why you have this here for me today. Now there is a protective screen on the LED replacement screen. There's basically a protective plastic lining. So keep that on. And then very carefully And make sure it's seated all the way down and reattach the tape and then what we'll do is attach the screen again to the sticky adhesive making sure that you line it up above the plastic rests that are here in the casing. And being careful to stick it in the right place. Do not put uneven pressure on the actual LED screen or you may get another crack. So there is a screen protector laminate on this model and I know that because there are printed numbers right here. So we'll just remove 
that carefully. And then we can get to work reattaching the bezel. Now this bezel, the technique is a scoop behind, press, and click up. And so to get it started, the two, do the two inside ones first. You'll hear a little snap when they grab. And then do the outside ones as well, making an effort not to touch the LED screen if possible. And then on the outsides, you actually want to fold the bezel in and allow it to hook in around the edges as well. Do one side a little more than halfway and then come to the other side, just simply pinching the bezel back on. And once they all feel level and secure, then the bezel is completely replaced. Then, go ahead and power up the computer. And here is the moment of truth. And there we have it. Beautiful welcome screen with a completely functioning LED screen. Um, many thanks to Laptop Screen for their assistance with this and their speedy and timely delivery of my replacement LED screen. Thanks again!